To thee we come, O Lord our God. Before thy altar, Father, thou knowest best our yearning hearts. This supplication answer. of your conscience. Having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness, let us all recite now the second act of confession. I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God for your penance, for the confession that you have just made. For the next three nights, besides offering the Lord's Prayer, the Hail Mary and the Glory Be, to take one of the three readings, to reread and to reflect upon its importance. And now if you are truly sorry for offending God and your neighbor, I ask that you strike your heart three times saying, God be merciful unto me a sinner, and I will grant you the absolution. God, May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us into life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O oh God, you will again renew us. Amen. Show us your mercy, Lord. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let every every person be subordinate to the higher authorities. For this, no authority except from God, and those that exist have been established by God. The most high rules of the kingdom of men, he can give it to whom he wills. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world and heart and time. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory 
to who God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please be seated. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, for you rule over all nations. May we, who through baptism are heirs of your kingdom, always be worthy of our high calling. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. John, will you proclaim the word? A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. This is the word of the Lord. The graduate. First of all, then, I ask that supplications, prayers, petitions, and thanksgiving be offered for everyone for kings and for all in authority, that we may lead a quiet and tranquil life in all devotion and dignity. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior, who wills everyone to be saved and come in knowledge of the truth. A reading from, from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before our God and Father, knowing brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen, for our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is good and pleasing to God our Savior. Alleluia. 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 Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from 
the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Heronians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. Nick Ventropophilonius is Christus. At this he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. These words are taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. You know, the first year of Jesus' ministry was called the, the year of popularity. They came in droves to have the Lord bless and heal the sick, to cleanse the lepers, to cure the crippled, the blind, and the deaf. But the second, and going into the third year, is, has been described as the year of opposition. The honeymoon was over. And there were those who were constantly trying to test Jesus so they could entrap him through his words. As we read Holy Scripture, we see countless times in which Jesus is asked about the law of Moses. Today is one of the examples. They said, the Pharisees, along with the Herodians, or those who were aligned with King Herod, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. 
They, in the beginning, wanted to get on the good side of Jesus and give to our Lord the positive attributes of his divinity. But now it changed in mannerisms. The people of Jesus' time were called upon to pay taxes, not with their own money, but with money that was inscribed and minted, as in this case, Julius Caesar. So they said, you know, Jesus, we know that you are truthful and, and that you have no opinion about people because you place everybody on an equal level. Now is it lawful to pay census tax to Caesar or not? What a predicament to be put in. Jesus, if he said yes, then he was going to have the common, the downtrodden, who were required to pay this tax. If he said no, then he would have brought on the fury of the Roman government. And if you remember that it was Jesus who was brought before Pontius Pilate. We have no ruler but Caesar were the cries that came from the crowd who wanted to find fault in this young rabbi from Palestine. So again, it was asked, is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Jesus knew the hearts and the minds of people. We read that he knew their malice. And he says, why are you testing me, you hypocrites? If you read in the 25th chapter of Matthew, Jesus gives it to the Pharisees and the elders of the scribes in which we could say with both barrels. He pointed out their hypocrisy. He pointed out their self-righteousness. But he also pointed out the evil that were in their hearts. Jesus says, show me the coin. Now, in the past, Roman coins were printed with images of God. But in the case of Julius Caesar, who wanted to be the dictator for life, he had his own image put on. So much for the dictator of life. Because on March 15th, the eyes of March, Julius Caesar in 44 BC was assassinated during the meeting of the Senate, it is recorded that he was stabbed 23 times. The theme for today's gospel is discernment of knowing what belongs to the world and what belongs to God. And we are called upon as Christians to know the difference. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God. We read in today's first reading from Isaiah that God again and again says, There is no other God before me. In Catechism, we learn of the Ten Commandments, and what is the first commandment? Thou shalt have no other gods before me. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, 
a simple coin, speaks to us about our truth of faith. It is during the season of Lent that people come before the altar of God, both myself as well as you. And we mark our foreheads, and the words are, Remember, man, that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return, but your soul shall return to God. God the Creator, who made heaven and earth, and breathe within each and every single one of you the breath of life by which you became living souls. And so we are called upon in our devotion, our daily devotion, of prayer, of giving praise and honor to Almighty God for the blessings that He has called upon us. As I said in the bulletin that was sent out, the reality is each and every single one of us, of us will die. And it is according to our faith that we will go before our Maker. As Jesus did not care about the opinion because he did not find partiality in anyone, but came to serve, so will it be with God our Creator that we will not bargain. We will not say, God, how great I was in this life. But God will ask us, what did you do in your life? Have you lived the very best to follow the commandments? Have you tried to go out of your way and to see Christ in every single living being? For God made each and every single one of us in his own image and likeness. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, the next time you take a coin out of your pocket and look at it, realize that it is of the world. Somebody once said that they have never seen a Brinks armored truck follow a hearse. And all the things that we strive for in our lives, the most important, as Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all righteousness shall be added unto you. Jesus' entire ministry was a ministry of discernment. Those who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. And so we see the perfect transparency of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who came to preach and to teach the way back to heaven. He said, You are not of the world, as I am not of this world. And what I preach unto you is spiritual and not physical. So may we all reflect Today, my brothers and sisters, and affirm within our own hearts that there is a need for discernment to render unto God the things are unto God, which is the most important, and whatever else is left, we cannot take with us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. I believe in one God. The Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, the eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. 
by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead in his kingdom and the land. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, He is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Please be seated. Give honor to all. Love the community. Fear God. Honor the King. this day by God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, we offer you this sacrifice that the gospel may be established among us, not only in word but also in power. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives with and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, O powerful and ever-living God, 
we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and had called us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. Therefore, we he join this day with the angels and dark angels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place, for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests. Together with Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true orthodox and Catholic faith which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. My brothers and sisters, let us pray for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Let us give our thanks unto God for all the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders and healthcare workers who strive daily to save others. In our most sincere prayers, let us pray for all abused and neglected children around the world, as well as all abused and neglected animals, and for those who suffer violence in their time. May we pray this day for peace in the Middle East, as well as Ukraine and other places around our globe where the innocents, men, women, women, children, and elderly are suffering at this time. May we give God our prayers for all those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad, and ask that Almighty God might protect them and bring them safely back home to their families. And Lord, may we also pray for all who are, who are present, whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ, also your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering of that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body 
and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death, in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples, and through them to all who believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful, and save them, he instituted these holy mysteries, in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you, God, his almighty Father, in giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, and again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice and immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty. That we, who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar, may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants and handmaidens who have gone before us with the sign of faith and now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through the same Christ, our Lord, amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, some part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, instructed by our Savior's teaching, uh, and following the divine example, we say with confidence, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us our 
lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Please be seated. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future. And by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, as also Andrew, and all the saints, grant us peace in our day, supported by the help of your mercy. May we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us who receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. By your holy body and blood, free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master awaken in us living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit, and art one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, those of you who will not be able to receive the body and blood of our Lord found in the Holy Eucharist, let us at this time offer the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Lord, most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of our Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord? For all the graces he hath rendered unto me. I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Receive the body and the blood of Christ. My son, fear the Lord and the King. Have nothing to do with those who rebel against them. For suddenly arises the destruction they send, and the ruin from either one. Who measure? The Lord be with you. Father, through the Eucharist we have received, help us to fulfill our duties to you 
and our brothers and sisters, we ask that in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, and art one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy Trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which we, though unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may be effective for ourselves and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through him all things came into being, and apart from him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light for he himself was not the light, the real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by card, nor desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of the only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Amen. 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 Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 